Okay, so here's the power supply of my electrolysis tank. Um, there it is over there. That's a 6.5 amp, 24 volt um, switch mode power supply. It's actually about a two or three hundred dollar supply. But my dad works for a multi-million dollar company, uh, Honeywell. You might have heard of them. They're in air conditioning and all that sort of shit. So they throw all sorts of crap like that in the bin all the time. So he picks it up and brings it home for me. So that's quite good. Um, I've just got a power mains power on and off switch. It was originally a double switch, but didn't the double switch fucked itself. So I just pop rid of that plate there. It's got a um, outlet here, which is just you can see the configuration of the plug. It's a standard type um, low voltage outlet. Uh, fuse and the amp meter which goes um, goes this side's plus 5 amps that side's minus 5 amps so it never seems to draw any more than 5 amps anyway which I don't know whether it's more the work piece I've got in there or the tank I don't know but anyway um, yeah so that's that one it's just got a normal plug on the end but what I want to do is so that I can trust this thing a little bit more I'll first of all cover up that hole but what I want to do is wire up these fans I want to put another one over there so that it sort of draws the air around this way around the power supply hopefully that, so that should work alright but seeing as that's a 24 volt supply and I've only got 12 volt fans I'll have to put this um, plug pack in there which it's, I'll probably glue it up there or something with a bit of hot glue. I just I was going for the surface socket in there, but putting that there with that on top restricts the airflow around that supply. So I'll just either glue it up there or something. I could probably crack the supply up and just take the transformer out of it and mount it down there somewhere on a bit of um, plastic of some description, but. We'll see how this goes first because I might end up putting computer power supply as I made a video last night of that piece of shit. I've I got a few suggestions about how I could go about fixing it, but I don't know whether I like the idea of a computer power supply in the first place because they're pretty um well in my experience they've been a bit troublesome when they're running high load for a long time. Like in one of my computers I can't remember what I was doing. I think I had a big graphics card in there. I installed a new graphics card and the power supply couldn't handle it very well. Even though it was not drawing over its 300 watt rating, it still ended up blowing up because it was such a long period drawing high current. So, not sure whether I like the idea of these much. But anyway, I'll take the fan out of this and mount it in there. Yeah, so, I'll get to work doing that and we'll come back okay so there you go there's two computer fans this one flows inwards this one sucks outwards I couldn't be bothered wiring both ends of this plug up so I just went and cut one off the end of an old extension lead that I had laying around I think that's the end of it there it's just an old crappy one that's the what's left of that power supply I decided it was too much hard work to fuck you know, to resurrect it, it's just fucked, so we'll put that out on the pile to go in the bin. Um, so yeah, I cut the grill out of it and put in there. So both of them have got grills, both of them come out of power supplies from computers. So yeah, I had to drill another hole because this just has mounting holes there with a few um, already threaded. Um, you know, nuts on the back of it, so that's sit. I'll have that sit there lengthways like that. The power supply for the fans will sit in that back corner there, so I'll glue that down with smock glue or something. Um, and put a little plate on the end there between that fan and the end of the power supply, and probably a bit over here, so it forcibly directs the flow around the power supply um, so it should stay fairly cool 
I'll just use that, something like that, so that the it's directly around there. So anyway, I'll remount it. I'll go and heat up the hot glue gun. We'll stick that down, and it'll be good. I'll show you. I suppose you can't see the fans running, so yeah. But anyway, that there, that socket come out of a generator. It did have DC. Um, it had a rectified built into it, but with six amps, when it was drawing six amps, it was way too much for it. I probably could have, because that had the right rectifier in it. I probably could have um, put one of my bigger AC transformers in here, or maybe I don't know whether you can um, wire them directly in parallel to transformers. I suppose you probably yeah. I forget how it works with DC. Yeah, it's like truck batteries anyway. Um, this would this will do the job. Um, so yeah, that'll go in there. So I'll do all that, and I think we better cover up this hole so it doesn't get wet. And I'll sit the power supply out. There's a nice waterproof cabinet here. You can't see in there a bit. Anyway, we'll sit it in there. And I'll have to run a lead into the tank, or I might just go and sit the tank on the top of this, and I'll leave it on tonight. So we'll do that. Okay, I do believe that anybody who uses hot glue for anything should be shot, but that's easy, and it's all I really could be bothered with, to tell the truth. So anyway, I just made up a deflector. I cut up that old power supply side, and it goes around there obviously around the top of the power supply so I made it so this fan blows in so it'll blow air up here past this um, supply here and it'll probably if any of this if the volt amp meter gets hot which they don't really but you know it'll keep a nice bit of air circulating around there then it all gets sucked past I don't know whether you can hear it there the fans running, there's quite a nice flow coming out. You can see the um, web of hot glue there moving. So it's working. I can feel the air being pulled past here. Right, we're bubbling away there, there's a bit of froth there. It's um, coming up. The water's pretty murky as you can see, I'm shining the torch to the side there. Now I've put my plug up like that so that it drains the condensate out and it's already draining so I'd say it's just because it's plastic and out here it's freaking cold I mean the roof it either it leaks and it condensa condensates you can see condensation on it now and that's where it leaks from so anyway instead of cleaning out that cabinet which was going to be a bit of a um, battle I just got to lawnmower catcher and sat it in that so I can't hurt anything in there and I've got the um, power lead taped up as you can see there with some tape so it won't get wet there's a bit of water that was already in there but because this has got vent holes in the top it shouldn't condensate so it shouldn't get wet you can see there, there's the vent. So I'll put, I just put a, sat the um, generator petrol tank on top of it, like that. And it's got its nice little home in there. So I'll leave it on. It's been 10 minutes since the last bit of video I took. So we'll um, leave that and see how we're going. All right, um, YouTubers, I'll come back out here later if not I might post this half of the video and make another half later we'll see what happens I'll see how long it I think it should be about seven minute video already so I might just post this half and um, post another half tomorrow morning so alright I'll see you next time